before. Yeah. So you've just gone out there. Yeah. Yeah. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to be giving a talk in a short while about falls. I'll be just be over there if you want to come over. Hmm, well, that should be interesting. Do you know what? I nearly went over the other day. What? Over there? No, not over there. Over on me. Over? Front step. Oh, over your yeah. step. Mm. I was just bringing in the milk bottles and I fell over me slippers. Oh, not them ones your Jack gave you just before the Minellium. Yeah. You know, I know they're old and they're falling apart, but, do you know, they were the last Christmas, best Christmas present that he ever bought me. <laughs> it were the only Christmas present he ever bought her. He were a tight old sod. Are you coming over? You never know, you might learn something. You could get something off him. <laughs> well, I'm not bothering. Finish with tea and then I'm going home. Do it yourself, you miserable old kid. Hey, just take a seat, Dad. Falls? Falls? I've probably had more falls than that lot put together. So don't talk to me about falls. I was in Korea. Up to my neck in muck and bullets, doing my national service. I was a para. I still remember the drill. Hit the ground, feet together, bend the knees to the side, roll with the fall. I reckon I could still do it with a bit of practice. So, what would we do if I've had a fall? Main thing is, like that bloke out of Dad's army says, don't panic, don't panic. Get help if you can, but if you feel pain, don't move. How do I get help if I can't move? Bang on the walls, floors, or anything with whatever you can get hold of. Yeah, you can use that. If you have a personal alarm or are connected to the community alarm system, contact them. But what if they're not in? Don't worry, there's someone there 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. And what if you're not connected to this community thing? Community alarm system. Ah, that. Call 999. But what if you can't reach the phone? One good idea is to have a cheap mobile phone with you all the time. But remember to charge it up regularly. Right, so I'm not hurt. I can't get help, so what do I do? You get up. What? You look like you're fit enough. You show us. I'll tell you what to do, and you can demonstrate to the others. A lot of people have problems after falling. Even if you're not hurt, because they lie on the floor too long and get cold. Well, hurry up, I'm getting cold now. OK, first check that you're not hurt. Then, roll onto your hands and knees and crawl to a sturdy piece of furniture like a bed or a chair. Put your hands on the chair, bring one leg up, bend in your knee and place your foot flat on the floor. Now lean forwards, pushing with your hands and foot and bring your other foot up so that's flat on the floor as well and you are in a crouching position. Now turn and sit on the chair. Make sure that you rest for a while before you try to stand up. It may be a good idea to practice getting off the floor before it even happens. Thank you, Vera. But what if I can't get up? If you can't get up, keep yourself warm. Cover yourself with a coat or anything else you can find. Keep tensing your arm and leg muscles. Roll from one side to the other, if you can. If you've fallen on a hard surface, try to crawl to a softer surface, such as a carpet. What do I do to prevent falls? Don't wear long dressing gowns. They could get caught on things, or you could trip over them. Ladies should wear low shoes, 
Also, leather soles might cause you to slip. Don't wear old sloppy slippers. They could cause a fall. Always wear slippers with an enclosed heel. Your bed and chairs shouldn't be too high or too low. And they shouldn't have clusters that might roll away from under you as you are getting up and take your time getting up. Sudden movement could cause dizziness. If you do like a drink or two, don't have too much. This will definitely cause you to fall, no matter what age you are. Make sure your lights are nice and bright. Don't use old 40 watt bulbs to save electricity. The new light bulbs will give out more light and use less power. Another thing, vanity causes falls. Get your eyes checked regularly and if you're told to wear glasses, wear them. Keep hallways and upstairs landings clear, especially near the stairs. And speaking of stairs, keep them clear of things like shoes and piles of clothing waiting to be put away. Make sure things like telephone extension cables and electric cables are well against the wall and not liable to trip you. Finally, and probably the most obvious way to avoid a fall, don't go climbing on chairs or steps. Try to keep things where you can easily reach them. Now, are there any questions? Oh, how do I get up? Help. Help. Help.